matrix. I've seen that Something from 30 to 100. Matrix represents a cross product matrix. So if you have x tilde y, we said this was equivalent to the vector x crossed with the vector y, right? So it allows us, because this is vector math, and over here we end up doing essentially matrix math. It's a three by three times a three by one. And as engineers, we start to kind of, you know, harass the mathematicians and do some shorthands, and we know what we mean when we mix these things a little bit. But this is really a ve vector matrix. If you see these things, so if you have x tilde x, what would that have to be? Zero, right, because it's a vector crossed with itself, and you can see that kind of a stuff. And if you reverse this order, if you have x crossed y, and then somebody gives you y cross x, how do those two relate? If you reverse the order of a cross product, negative. there's a negative sign that happens there. Two, now this matrix has a particular form. Anybody remember? Skew symmetric, right? So skew symmetric means it has zeros on the diagonals, and then non-zeros on the off-diagonals, but if this is A, down here it's minus A. If this is minus B, down here it's B. And if this is minus C, then here it's C. And so there's different ways to define that. But skew symmetry, like if something is symmetric of a matrix, if the A matrix is symmetric, then what must be true? Transpose equals A. Exactly. If it's symmetric, we're just doing a quick review of linear algebra. Hopefully most of you have seen this, but not some haven't. A transpose is equal to A, that means it's symmetric. Diagonals have to be the same and then you just flip the off diagonals. But if it's skew symmetric, <coughs> so if I have x tilde and I transpose this, how does this relate to the x tilde now? Negative. It gives you the negative, right. Because the, this is all zero and the negative signs of the off diagonals flips, which is equivalent to minus that x tilde one. So that's an operator that we will use again and again as well. So just little identities that will be useful as you go through this stuff, because we'll be seeing these tildes appearing more and more uh, as we do this algebra there. Good. So we've covered all that. Excellent.